um, and what I thought was a piece of freaking tonsil covered in blood hit my shoulder. You're understanding, goodbye. And I was like, ma'am, I didn't even say anything. I'm pissed. It was maybe 100 pounds like soaking wet. I always thought that statement was really funny, so I wanted to throw it in there. You don't need to be in there, you're a mess. <laughs> you're falling apart. Um, I'm in the process of rubbing in my concealer. Well, let's chat, shall we? I don't know where my tripod is at all, so. I have a hair on me somewhere. So basically, I feel like I fell off the face of the earth. I'm gonna blend my concealer in. I have just like giant pimples because I've been so sick, not washing my face and um, also, like, when I feel like I'm sick, things just come, come out of me. <laughs> anyway, um, I feel like I've fallen off the face of the earth. I don't know if you've noticed. I feel like I haven't posted an actual vlog on this channel in, like, two weeks. Um, and I think that's not a good statement. And that makes me really sad. So, um, let me let you know, I guess. There's really no reason why I didn't get one up um, last week. I just felt like I didn't have enough content. Um, I'm an old Jew. It's gonna be a rough workout class. I don't even know if I should go, but I already signed up and I don't wanna like, there's like a cancellation fee, whatever. So, we're gonna try. Um, hi, it's Mon Tuesday because yesterday was Memorial Day. Covering up these pimples to make me feel a little bit more alive. Um, all right, good enough. We're good enough, good enough. Um, let me just, I have no idea where my tripod thing is. Oh, we've got like, oh shoot, we have no time. Why am I sitting here? I have a workout class in 15 minutes. Let's chat in the car. Hey, oh, I found my tripod that I thought I had no idea where it went. Um, I am trying. Hmm, it just popped. Better Greens for the first time, which is a caffeinated, they have non-caffeinated, the caffeinated greens powder, and I know greens powder is, there's a lot of whatever, but it's, it's a pre-workout that has greens powder in it, so I feel like it can't be that bad. It smells like greens powder. Ugh. Raspberry lime, lemonade, or lemonade I think I have. That was so bad. No, no. Um, it doesn't taste. Good go. Yeah, okay. Um, it doesn't taste like it, a green powder. It's just not cold enough yet because it didn't shake up with the ice, but I thought the lime would make it more tart because I really like a tartar pre-workout, but that's not the case, so it's fine. Switching things up, trying some different things. I do not know where my normal sunglasses are, but that's okay. Um, so... Uh, yeah, hi, I feel like I fell off the face of the earth and I figure I'll tell y'all why. Um, Friday night we went to this place called Microphone Brewery, I think is what it was called, in Elk Grove Village, which was really cool. But before that, around like 2 o'clock, 1, 2 o'clock, I was like, oh, I feel like crap. Like, so I took an extra allergy pill because I was like, my eyes are itchy and like, and I just wasn't feeling good. So I took another allergy pill and I was like, whatever. It wasn't like anything bad, but I just felt like my throat was getting scratchy and my eyes were itchy and watery and so that's why I thought it was allergies. Um, and then by the time we were done at microphone, which was late, I don't think we ended up getting home until later, um, until Arlo had a full on melt because we wouldn't, we ran out of dollar bills to play the pinball machines, which in all fairness, I'm obsessed with pinball machines or my absolute favorite. So we played a lot, but um, anyway, uh, what was I gonna say? 
So we get home and I was like knocked out. Like I got home and I was like, I feel horrible. So I took another Sudafed because I was like my drain, like I feel like it's drainage, da da da. I took a Sudafed, passed out. Woke up just feeling horrible. Like even in the middle of the night, like um, body aches. I feel like I might have had the flu or something. I don't know, I had body aches and my throat was horrible. I couldn't eat, I couldn't sleep. My muscles, my, um, not only was like my body aching, my like joints were aching. Like it hurt so bad. So I slept all day Saturday. I slept all day Sunday. Like, well not all day Sunday. But I slept all day Saturday. And then Sunday Scott had golf. Um, so I was with Arlo on Sunday. And then Arlo freaking was jumping around in the air mattress because I blew up the air mattress because I was like, oh, we'll just have like a movie night. Because I was like trying to keep things fun for him because I was feeling like crap and we weren't going to do anything fun. But I was trying to, you know, keep things fun. So I was like, all right, I'll just blow up our air mattress and we'll popcorn and do a movie and it'll be fun. And so he's jumping around in the air mattress with like this thing, this long thing that you put on your, the end of your golf club um, for like practicing and it goes into his mouth into his throat and I'm going to see what's happening he's spewing blood all over my face which I didn't even realize blood all over my face um, and what I thought was a piece of freaking tonsil covered in blood hit my shoulder and I was just like ah! like freaking the heck out right turns out it was just mucus covered in blood but it looked like a piece of his tonsil okay and he's spewing blood at me and I'm like oh my god like freaking out so of course, first time like injury as a mom, I'm like, oh my god, I need to go to the ER. And then I, and then I was fine. Scott was like, relax, take two breath, <laughs> show me a picture, and it was fine. He stopped bleeding, and then he chilled. We watched movies on the couch or in the air mattress. It was fine. He was fine. He still ate popcorn. Like he was not injured. Um, I like literally was like, there's a piece of bloody tonsil on my shoulder. Like something is not right. And um, <laughs> yeah, oh, it was horrible. Um, and then. Yeah, yesterday I started feeling better. I started like doing all the things you do post sickness, like washing all the sheets and the <clears throat> the blankets that you touched and all the things because you're just like, I want this gone, right? Um, and today I feel better. I just have, I feel like, I feel 100% like, like I don't have a sore throat or anything like that anymore. I just feel like I don't have as much energy because to be honest with you, I did not eat this entire, like yesterday was the first time I had an appetite. Um, so I ate a lot of carbs because it was like, give me some food. Um, I think I lost like, I mean, I didn't lose weight. It's all just like water weight, you know, but like, cause I wasn't moving and because I wasn't drinking anything, but um, feeling like so much better today. Um, so I figured we'll just do like a low impact um, Pilates class. This class isn't normally like my butt or anything crazy, so. This is my first time having caffeine. It's Friday as well. I don't love this. I'm not even gonna lie to you. But I like that it's a greens powder, okay? And it's got caffeine in it. 120 milligrams, so. Anyway, we're gonna get this Pilates class in. <clears throat> and then I kinda just wanna do some stuff like behind the scenes. I haven't done like any editing, any brand. I have just so much stuff that's kind of piled up on my plate um, since Monday was a holiday. But I'm glad it was because I needed the extra like catch up day to get all the laundry done and all the things. So feeling better. Sorry I've been like MIA. Hopefully I can edit last week's vlog and get that up for you guys. Um, I just have been feeling like I have nothing to really share with you and I've kind of been up, like, in a little bit of a slump. So, um, I don't know, hopefully we get ourselves out of that. And um, in the meantime, we're just gonna keep chugging along, um, push through it. And let's do this. Let's get this uh, little Tuesday workout. And I did have like an intense-ish class this morning booked at like 8 30 but I canceled that so fast I was like girl I don't know who you thought you were I know you thought you felt better but like you don't feel that good <laughs> no I'm just kidding it's not about not feeling good it's like I just know I haven't been feeling my body proper enough to do those sort of moves and I don't want to hurt myself like I don't want to be jumping around like a hooligan um 
else. So yeah, so let's do that. I really need to clean up my fridge and assess what I have before I go grocery shopping. So, so yeah, I will talk to you guys when I'm done with my workout class. Let's get this Pilates in. Oh, and then speaking of freaking Pilates, I'm so annoyed. The stupid club Pilates that I signed up for in Palatine, they were supposed to open in June. I get a call on Friday and she's like, hi just wanted to let you know we're not scheduled to open until August now um, thank you for your appreciation and your, your understanding goodbye and I was like ma'am I didn't even say anything I'm pissed <laughs> like like it is what it is what am I gonna do but like I'm annoyed cuz it's just like the whole reason I wanted to wait until the like spring summer to inquire about Pilates is because I did not want to be driving far in the snow and now like you're telling me that I'm going to be getting my membership in August. Um, and then in two, three months from there, it's gonna be snowing. So I'm going to be canceling after my three month contract is over because that's the whole reason, I don't know. Maybe not, but I'm just like, <laughs> I get it. It was probably, I tried to be sympathetic because I'm like, that was probably the worst call she has to make. Like she probably does not want to call the people who pre-signed up and I'm like, by the way, I know we said June, but now we're not opening until August. Have a great day, love you, bye. And it's like, she's probably like hates her life doing that. So I was trying to think like, those cuff calls, nobody wants to make them. So, dang the gym be packed today. All right, looks like I'm parking in the back row. All right, you guys. So honestly, my workout went way better than I had thought it was going to. I was kind of nervous um, just because my strength wasn't there, but honestly, like I was worried about my balance and stuff like that, but I, it was a really good workout. I'm very happy about it. Um, I was just looking at Whole Foods to see what kind of meats they have on sale and there's nothing different from last week. It's still ribs and sirloin. So, I don't know. So I don't know, I might see what they have later on in the week. I have some cod in the freezer still that I can defrost. We'll figure it out. Oh my God, I didn't even tell you. Um, when I cooked, because I deleted all the footage from my last vlog, that's a that's another reason why you're backed up, Kelly, or like delayed or not, or slacking, whatever you would call it. Um, you deleted an entire vlog. Yeah, that was smart. Um, when I cooked halibut um, last week, Arlo ate an entire filet of fish. It's like, of course you like the most <laughs> expensive bougie fish like I swear that kid is just like his father um I'm like of course you would like a $30 a pound fish he's like more fish more fish and he also loved the portobello mushroom that I cooked last week as well which is like I mean I'm happy about it our pool must be warm because there were people in the pool this morning doing there are people in the pool right now like doing aerobics and stuff like there was an aerobics class and there's a lifeguard at the pool deck so I'm thinking Arlo and I might come here like this week after um, school someday and just like play outside in the pool <laughs> I don't know or probably this weekend um that would be fun it's like kind of crazy to think that it's like not even June and the pool <laughs> like how warm is the pool actually because I feel like like um northerners well i guess this is midwest i just think everything like up is north but um we don't we have a tolerance for cold so it's like as long as it's warm outside we're getting in that pool. <laughs> um so anyway let's run home or let's head home and kind of get our life and track and kind of i feel like i'm a mishmambled mess i was like waiting for i was like about to send this email like hey to a brand like hey like any update on the video right well good thing I searched for the for the email because they sent it to me on Friday like either I didn't see it or I just looked past it I don't know or what happened but glad I didn't send like a hey can I get an update because girl they already approved it oh life anyway let's home, get home and like get our brain where it needs to be. Um, update on that better greens. I felt like I had energy for sure, but not like I was cracked out, <laughs> which is good, right? Um, 
because um, no matter what even if I take the Alani new even if I don't take a full scoop which I haven't but I've been taking like half to three quarters my hands will get tingly um and that didn't happen to me so I liked that aspect of it um so yeah I think I'll I mean obviously I'll keep taking it I got on the auto and roll or whatever so I get it every month because I feel like you have to kind of take greens and supplements and stuff like that for a while before you see the results um and the taste is, is like it's not like um like your typical greens taste it's really not it's not that bad but it still has like a little bit of a but if you take a little bit as a pre-workout before I feel like it's not bad so my only complaint is I wish it was sour like a sour pre-workout but anyway let's head home get our life together it's kind of an overcast day it's sunny but it's still like overcast um, I also haven't been on a walk since Thursday of last week so I want to get on a walk today in this rainy rainy so oh, it's already too hot probably for her but it, I always feel bad because I know she wants to go for a walk and it like breaks her heart when I'm just like I can't take you but it's like too hot for her to walk on the pavement and I still take her out for a little like mosey in the grass but I also have to be careful with that because ticks are like next level. Um, but it breaks my heart when she's like, are you seriously leaving without me? Like, <clears throat> I could get her some little booties, but I feel like she would want no part in that. Like those little butt booties. My, um, my grandmother is so funny. Um, she's like the smallest, sweetest, like she was maybe a hundred pounds, like soaking wet. I always thought that statement was really funny, so I wanted to throw it in there. Um, and she raised dogs her whole life. She actually like was, um, they like showed dogs for a while, Newfoundlands, and then towards the end she started getting Rottweilers. Um, but they were the sweetest, dopiest Rottweilers you would ever meet. I never knew that Rottweilers were considered an aggressive breed because I grew up around Rottweilers and they were so nice. Like my aunt had multiple Rottweilers, the sweetest, dopiest dogs you've ever met. Um, and same thing with my grandma. My grandma's Rottweiler was named Fritz. I think she had multiple, but I knew Fritz the most. And she had these little green booties that she would put on him. And it was the cutest thing. Cause, like, here's this mean, aggressive dog with little green booties on. And he was really funny. I remember in the lake, he would go underneath water to pick up big rocks. Like, he would be under there for a minute, just, like, standing. But he would grab the rocks with his mouth. And I don't know how the dog had any teeth left. And she used to make him his own bowl of popcorn with extra butter and butter sandwiches. Butter sandwiches with like so a little bit of peanut butter in them. I'm dead. Um, <laughs> she was, she was funny. She was like, I don't know how she ate what she ate and she was like this big. Grandma loved butter. Um, but yeah, Fritz was funny. And he had these little green booties and I vividly remember them. And then Rocky had them. Rocky was their like white dog after that, but too funny, too funny. Um, I'm sure if like other Rottweilers like saw that they'd be like, bro, you're so soft. <laughs> so I feel like Winnie would be like, uh, how am I supposed to chase birds and like anything like the geese, then they'd be scared of me. How come I also learned that can Canadian geese are not called Canadian geese, they're called Canada geese? Who knew? Anyway, um, she can't be chasing those looking like a soft little puppy with her little, <laughs> her little mittens on. <laughs> Kittens and mittens. Remember my peonies that I literally bought um, on Friday and oh they're out of water I need water um, well they all bloomed already <laughs> so I'm like do I even like pop plant them I'm gonna we got some time to spend in the kitchen oh and I got my little chop slopper chop slapper thing Arlo definitely that's his blood he got himself on the little grate so clearly they're really sharp so be careful of that he got his finger on this I'm oh yeah they're really freaking sharp so he got his poor little thingy on that. Kid had some casualties this weekend. Okay. So I think I'm gonna take my morning and um, get this kitchen in line, undo the dishes, kind of clean up the kitchen. And then um, I need to water all my plants. I know I need to do that. Get the flowers, and I wanna sort through the fridge, throw away what's like no longer edible. And then, um, kind of prep out some veggies and stuff for the week. So that's the plan. Let's make some moves. I need to find like a show or music or something to watch to keep me entertained.
So, as you can tell, 90% of my um, peonies, peonies, whatever, are bloomed. But we're just gonna, we're just gonna go with it. And normally I like to put other things with it, but this is so full because they're bloomed. So I think I'm gonna find a different vase, vase for that one. I'm gonna have to take this one out soon. He's like, oh yeah, she's like dying. Okay. <laughs> Maybe you're just gonna come out with me. You don't need to be in there. You're a mess. <laughs> you're falling apart. Relatable. All right. <laughs> okay. I still don't think there's enough room to put other things in, so we're gonna just, maybe I can grab a base from upstairs. This guy still needs to bloom. We still got time. So we're gonna attempt to do this full walls. You can't really tell. Ah. Uh... Lighting, trash. Uh, this box. Uh, once my wildflowers start blooming outside, I won't need to buy these random flowers anymore. But in the meantime, I figured that these would look kind of pretty as a contrast, the white and the green. So let's put these in this guy. This is gonna take a lot of water because it's huge. So here's, here's my vision. So my vision is to have this is like not the center piece but over here like such and then my peony to be up here yeah i think it's kind of cute it's a little awkward but my flowers once they perk up hopefully it'll look better i have like dying leaves everywhere you know that's what it is i've been loving that like veggie thing that i've been showing you uh so we're gonna try to uh do it today in bulk and I'm gonna try to um work today really. use my little chopper eye. There we go. Okay the first time I didn't slam it hard enough. Okay. Amen, amen. It's not bad. This thing is sharp so watch the little fangies. It's nice that it's right in here. And then I'm gonna also do um some tomatoes and some shallots in there. But I feel like it's sharp enough that it's good. I hate cutting tomatoes because, oh yeah, okay. You like, I feel like I could do multiple at a time. Okay, this may be game changing because look at that. Ready? <gasps> Whoa, I don't want this like attached, there we go. That was kind of cool. Really quite cool. Whoa! So sorry, Rachel. Sorry, 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 girlfriend. So sorry. Okay. So I'm gonna dump in like a little mix and there we go. Much better. Now I can get like a good mixture of all of my veggies that I We have a new bloom on our plant. We have a couple actually. Look at this guy, what? I didn't even know that's how they came out, to be honest with you. That's kind of cool. The little guy down there too. Oh, we have this guy coming out. This is a pretty finicky plant. You have to water it like every two days, but it's my favorite. All right, so we're done with the kitchen. I did want to make some stuff to dates, but I might actually make them tonight with like a glass of wine or something to just kind of like unwind. I don't know, I don't know. I haven't decided. Arlo's definitely in my room. Be, like drew all over my planner oh well it's almost June <laughs> um I made my breakfast and I'm gonna do a little bit of computer work um what else was I gonna say I don't know um, I'm gonna get some computer work done I did all the stuff that I really wanted to do in the kitchen I took out some I have no idea what that is that's gross <laughs> I took out some cod Arlo and I will have cod because Scott is golfing tonight and uh, oh I have another one yeah I have two new blooms. How exciting. That's exciting. Um, I get so excited when my plants do well. Uh, yeah, so that's what we're going to get up to today. And then after my computer work, I'm probably going to get out and take a little walk because it's really nice out. And I just feel like I haven't been outside like in the sunshine and whatnot because I've been sick. So I feel like I definitely desperately need that. But right now, I'm going to do a little bit of computer work and I'm going to watch... My girl, my girl Taylor, I love her. Um, she's an empties video, so I'm gonna watch that. So I had way more editing than I thought I had. 
to do because I had to film a couple more clips that I forgot. Um, so it's 2.30 now. And you know when you're like recovering from being sick and you feel like your appetite was crap when you were sick and now it's like not there. So you need to like do more stuff than just sit sedentary and that's what I've been doing for the last, I don't even know how long it's been. I've been editing for. Um, but I should be eating lunch and I'm just not hungry right now. So I feel like if I get out and go for a walk, I'll like work up my appetite. Um, again, I don't know. It takes me a minute to like get my appetite back after I've been just like sick. I want a lot of carbs, but I don't want anything else. Um, so let's go for a little walk. I was like, oh, is it hot outside? It's 86 degrees out. So I can't take Miss Wrinkles and she's going to be so mad because she just woke up from her nap. Look, homegirl's panting inside <laughs> and is over sitting next to the AC. So clearly she, uh, she's warm. So I've got my little, I still have my workout tank from this morning. I didn't sweat. I threw on my little, um, rib tank from Abercrombie and then I've got my little walking, running shorts on from, um, Halara. I'm going to spray on my SPF from Kula. I only like tried this the other day in the car. So no full thoughts on it, but um, I'm gonna be trying it for my walks. I could reapply sunscreen. I just don't feel like it, so I'm just gonna put this on. I also like that I can throw this just on my shoulders. But look, look, stinky. Uh, I'm gonna put a hat on anyways. <laughs> spray <laughs> spray outside that's rough it was hot out there y'all i don't know how long i went but because i stopped my watch <clears throat> and then restarted it anyway while i was out i saw everyone's beautiful flowers and just like even in this community i was like wow like people do that sort of stuff here and um granted we don't own this place but i still we're gonna be here through next spring as well so I was like you know what I kind of want to plant some flowers in our front little area so I thought that would be a fun little thing for me and Arlo to do it was one of my favorite things to do with my mom um summer nights was to come home and water the plants like because we didn't have like a sprinkler system so we'd go around the entire house she had the she had gardens around our entire house growing up and along the barn and she did like the most beautiful flowers the best part about watering the flowers is at night was you could see the what are they called night bloomers I don't know what they're actually called the night bloomers that only light up or come out when the sun is setting it's so cool so I thought you know Arlo is really a boy's boy he wants to bike with Scott he likes to golf with Scott but I want him to like to do stuff with me too but I feel like I do like the boring things I don't have a ton of like fun hobbies um I mean I like to play with them outside and I do all that sort of stuff but throw rocks but I thought maybe while well, he's young <laughs> I could grasp in, him into like liking gardening and I mean he loves to water stuff um so I think that might be a fun task for us to do this weekend not task activity for us to do this weekend um I don't know and just have some fun so I'm gonna get some like I don't know we're just gonna go to Home Depot's or Lowe's or whatever but I got some packages Scott brought up for me while I was out for my walk. He's golfing tonight. Um, so let's open these guys up. Oh yes! Okay, y'all. The hype is real. I went and bought four more pairs of the JIV. Are they really called? They're called the Athletic Thong. They're camel toe proof high rise thongs. They're great. <laughs> They're my favorite. So I went, I know they're like stupid expensive. I was gonna get them at Revolve just because Revolve does, um, they do two day shipping, but they're sold out at Revolve. So I went to their site and then they had like 10% off or 15% off your first order, I can't remember, which I had never placed an order of them. It doesn't say. It was either 10 or 15%. I'll link the site down below. Um, and, but the other thing is like I kick myself. Um, I think it was 15 and then, or it was like 10. And then if you buy five or more, or there's like certain bundles that you get a percentage off, which is awesome, which I wish I had known. Cause I would have just wait, 
got them all there and done like five but again I didn't know if I was gonna love them so I was like, gonna splurge on them um but here they are <laughs> they just feel like they have like a really thick but they're so nicely made they hide suck you in they like they just hide everything I love them so they are patented camel toe proof technology antimicrobial breathable wisher wicking tagless recyclable and eco-conscious so I was like you know I'm just gonna go to Amazon <laughs> I'm like cheap I love them but I was like cheap and I was like I'm just gonna go look on Amazon none like a zero that were like good like in compare comparison plus also um the price was similar to the ones that were the dupes and the reviews were terrible those are literally amazing like I don't have to worry not that I cared that much in the past but like it wasn't that the look of the the toe you know it was just i didn't want to be pulling it out while i'm working out i don't know what this is honestly i don't know what this is so oh yay this is my sunscreen that came in from target um so this is the Elta md daily make sure it doesn't expire until 2025 looks very similar i'm going to compare it to my original packaging just to make sure everything is good before I smear it all over my face because there's so many like fake products you know I'll be able to know um with inconsistency but I really think the only reason it was on sale was because of the packaging change yep smells the same looks the same so I did um look earlier this is still on sale on Target so yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty excited that I got these for like 25 bucks a piece. Verse. This one's almost over. That's the only reason why I cracked open the other one because I was like, if I can, I can manage that. But yeah, these are totally the JB whatever JIB. They're totally worth all the freaking hype that they get. Um, and if I were you, you can try them before you buy them. Like, they have um like the seal thing so if I were you and you're like really struggling with this issue and you've been wanting to try them um I would just buy five and get the discount and then if you don't like them return them all so at least you get the discount if you decide to keep them that's what I wish I had done in the past um and they came really quick I want to say like with I like I don't remember exactly when I placed the order um let's see when I placed my order I placed my order on Friday and today is Tuesday with a holiday. So, so fast. Order them there instead of Revolve. You don't know until you know moment. So, um, I think I told you guys that Arlo has broken three of our, um, like vertical blinds. Like they just kind of, not like on purpose, but they just kind of like, they're super flimsy plastic and they broke. So I finally was like, oh, Okay, I'm gonna look at replacement blinds, whatever, on Amazon. Tell me why they make like those like reinforcers so you don't have to throw the whole damn blind away. <laughs> we already threw two of them away. I'm like so annoyed. They're like basically, remember those like um like those three hole that you would reinforce like notes when you were taking school? They're basically like that. They're clear, no one would know that it was broken, nothing. So I'm gonna buy them because I know we're gonna break more. But I literally went out the garage and I was like, oh no, Scott definitely threw them away. So I looked on Amazon for our blinds and I can't find the texture since ours are different textured. So I'm gonna have to look for a serial number on them when I get home because the builder doesn't put them on. Like it's all individual and I don't want to ask our landlord, hey, like what would you get for your blinds? Cause my son's breaking them all and he's gonna be like, great. Love that for us. <laughs> Ah. I just finished grilling up my veggies. This one got a little sharp, but it's gonna be good. Zucchini and summer squash. I'm not sure if Scott is gonna be home for dinner because he's golfing. I can't interrupt while golfing. <laughs> so got that yeah. going. Whoa, my smoker is smoking off out there. It's been cycling down, but I've got my fish in the oven and I've got some rice in the microwave. Mm. What do you think? The rice is good? Yeah, okay. I want to eat this. Okay, blow on it. Mm. Try it. You like it? Yeah. It's good. <laughs> All right. The card was a win. A R L O. That spells me. <laughs> good job.
up, buddy?